to speak on peace building uh, forces means that you have to think on the civilian side of these operations nowadays. Uh, this operation has a multidimensional character, so uh, the troops and, and the mission delegates uh, relate with civilian population and not only with combatant forces. So that's why the UN has requested countries to think on the multidimensional nature of, of peace building operations. Then the role of women, if you take into account the, the relationship with civilian communities, with local populations, is really important because they are part of the face of the forces. They can bring an image uh, more related uh, to, uh, to an, an image of uh, a multidimensional military operation and they can fulfill roles that men cannot fulfill, like taking complaints of women who has been affected by sexual violence or making uh, being part of checkpoints, distributing food to local populations where women are really important in that distribution. And especially uh, it has to be with gender uh, opportunities, with equal opportunities that both men and women uh, has to have in a military force. That's why since the year 2000 the UN is especially requesting through resolution 1325 that women uh, must be part of the peacekeeping operations and it is requesting uh, to the troop contributing countries to undertake programs and, nas and national action plans for this incorporation of women to the forces. The main challenge for uh, having more women serving in peace building forces is that uh, troop contributing countries doesn't have enough women in the military or police institutions because we are not talking only about the military but uh, uh, we are talking uh, also about the police which is really important in, in the current operations. So, um, the incorporation of women to these kind of institutions uh, is recent in several countries. In other countries they don't have uh, uh, women serving in a command uh, position, but they have uh, women serving as uh, auxiliary forces or nurses or administrative positions. Uh, so uh, having more women in peace building forces means having more women in the institution, so you can have uh, the, na the requested number numbers to, to send them to these kind of, of operations. Besides that, you must take into account that uh, women uh, need to know that they have this opportunity, that they are uh, requested by the UN to fulfill these roles, and uh, countries can especially work on a national action plan for dissemination of this kind of information among the possible candidates, making databases on those names, and uh, especially encouraging women to uh, fulfill missions abroad, uh, leaving uh, their homes, and uh, in most cases, leaving their families for at least six months. That's the kind of challenges that, that most uh, of women are seeing today to fulfill these missions. We are uh, referring to two different uh, situations. Um, when you speak about uh, women in the military or women in the police or in peace building forces, you are also speaking about women in culture, women in society. I mean, it has a, a close relationship 
with the position and with the situation of women in each society, even in the society that is, that is suffering the conflict and in the society that is contributing the troops or the personnel for that mission. So CEDO uh, is a framework for uh, societal, societal and cultural changes. CEDO uh, brings a, a basic framework that uh, countries should uh, fulfill regarding uh, the respect for women, equal opportunities, uh, rights and uh, the duties of the state regarding women. The UN resolutions are a framework for conflict situations. So uh, they are both part of a, a same international effort to uh, promote the, the empowerment of women and to promote the situation of uh, a better situation for women, both in countries that are contributing troops and in countries that are suffering conflicts. So, CEDO uh, especially applies uh, to every country in the world, not only to countries who are suffering a, a conflict. The most important experience that Latin America could bring is that the position and the participation of women in this kind of operations uh, or in the military and the police relates to the participation of women in society and to cultural changes. Uh, in our region, this, uh, this issue was linked to democratization. So when democratization arose in the 80s, most of the countries began to think about political participation of women, labor conditions. Uh, you also have uh, several constitutional changes in the region where the gender perspective was incorporated. So in our experience, everything was then happened uh, regarding the incorporation of women to the military or to the police was related to the changes in society. Uh, I also think that uh, Asia can bring uh, Latin America an extraordinary, extraordinary experience in peacekeeping because uh, the amount of, of personnel that Asia is contributing and the experience that uh, this personnel is, uh, is having is, is extremely important for a region like Latin America who is, which is starting this, uh, this kind of participation. Uh, so I, I do think that uh, we share the, uh, the commitment with international security, the commitment with building up a better world in conflict zones, and that uh, the sh this sharing between our regions should be more frequent. Thank you.